I'd like to take us in a, in a different direction and, and, and focus back on key path um, mm -hmm. for, for a couple of minutes, but um, actually more on your employees. And, and uh, you know, as, as, as I followed your success over the years, I've been incredibly impressed by, by your, the diversity programs and initiatives that you have you know, for, for your staff at, at KeyPath. And, and obviously that flows down from, from the top, but you have wonderful people around you. Um, can you share with us how that, how that evolved and developed over time? And you know, what can other companies um, learn and, and strive to, to achieve your successes? And then part two of that is, is, do you see that flowing across in terms of diversity, equity, and inclusion for your university partners uh, and their programs and, and respecting the diversity that you mentioned of, of the learners? Thanks, Dan. Thanks for it's always reassuring to hear when 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 people pick up on that. I I get I have the fortune of meeting every new person that comes in comes into the company, irrespective of where they are and what they're doing. I spend some time with them two to three weeks after they've come in, rather than scaring the life out of them on day one. And, um, they, <laughs> and they, you don't make them clean the toilets, I hope. Anyway. Oh, don't make them clean the toilets. Yeah, yeah. And I I, I don't care how they got their skills. Um, <laughs> And without, I could set my clock to it without fail, they will talk about it. They will say, I, I had no idea it was this welcoming, this diverse, and this supportive from the outside. I had no clue. Um, and there's a lesson for us there in how we communicate what the hell we do and, and, and who we are and what we what we embrace and what's different about us. But I can. it doesn't matter where people come from, what their background is, they will say that without fail. So it's nice to, and it gets recognized externally. So I appreciate that. Um, our, our emphasis on, on equality and, and culture and diversity is, is by far the greatest asset we have as a business. Uh, it absolutely uh, feeds into the work we do, the partnerships we get to have, the top and bottom line performance that we have as a business. It, all, it is all directly correlated to the culture that we have and the people we get to hire and the environment they get to work in. It is a straight path between them. And I think of all the things that we are proud of and we've got right over time, the the way, the culture that we've been able to build here is so far ahead of anything else that we've been able to do. And it's certainly the thing I'm, I'm most proud of. Um, I, we were intentional about it from the start. So I always find it quite difficult to talk about, well, what have you done and what's evolved and, and, <laughs> and you know, what have you got right? It's kind of been in our DNA from the start that we, certain principles that we, that we align to, the same as most companies do, but we were ruthless about them, about embracing diversity, about, uh, about hiring youth and young people. We, we really did do that. We, we, we certainly chose inexperience in a lot of ways because we were looking for aptitude and determination and skills and and the opportunity for for risk taking and i think people of people often overlook this but we, we've done a lot of stuff and we've made tons of mistakes and some stupid things over time um but we've we've kind of been always okay with that and we've told people that's all right give it a go and and for uh, and one thing i've learned for people from various cultures and backgrounds that that ability to fail and and not be judged and treated differently or um held accountable but in you know a lessons learned way as opposed to a as opposed to a stick um that's really helped build culture so we've you know we've won awards and we're i think it's close to 60 percent of people that work here weren't born in this country um and we're you know 70 percent female and all these types of things and and yeah they're statistics but they drive the, the the culture that we've got. And I think the, I, I don't know if that's any, I haven't worked anywhere else for nine years. So I don't know if that's any different <laughs> anywhere else, but I think the, um, the thing that helps drive it is none of those things are any different to most, how most companies operate. But I the think the thing that really drives it is that every so often you get tested, something happens and you have to mm. take a position or or a stance and that can be an internal issue or matter or discussion or problem you've got to solve or it can be something external and you know we were we were really intentional and focused around the external things that we felt 
matter. There's a lot of external stuff happens all the time, right? But the stuff that had a a, a direct impact or a correlation to what we did, and I think back to we're really early supporters of marriage equality, and we made a real big stance mm. with Black Lives Matter, and we you know ran some things whenever whenever the mosque hack, uh, attack happened in New Zealand, and even little things around how we handle COVID, given um, how our people came from various different backgrounds and the sort of anxiety and fear and family issues that that they had with that. Those things, those tests along the way reinforce the culture. Um, and uh, I've used this example before, but you know, we send, I, I send emails out every so often around, hey, we've, you know, achieved X things or we've signed a new university and or we've, you know, grown to Y numbers. No one really cares. Um, but, <laughs> but but if I remember, if I go back to whatever, four or five years ago, when we took a real stance around whatever it was, Black Lives Matter, the feedback I got on that mm. is greater than anything we've ever done around, you know, a, a university partnership and something. So I don't, in, integrity matters in these things. And sometimes you've just got to, you've got to manage the test that comes your way because that enforces culture more than anything. Well said, well said.